All right, what's up, guys? This video is a response to a comment on YouTube from Alexis. She asks, do you know how to change the link for the continue shopping button? And what she's talking about is um, this button on the cart page. So whether your cart is empty or whether you have something in your cart, uh, you will see this button that says continue shopping, right? Continue shopping and it takes you back to your all products page, which the URL is collection slash all. Um, and maybe you don't want that. Maybe you want to send people to a specific collection or to a specific product, or maybe just back to the home page, right? So I'm going to show you how you can change where this goes to. And it's really easy, it takes less than a minute. So let's get started. So first of all, I'm on my online store themes page, go to actions, and then go to edit code. And now, oops, I already have it open, but we are going to search for a file called main cart items liquid. And this is in dawn theme. Okay, but if you're not using dawn, it might have a different name. But if you search for the word cart, like I didn't know that it was called main cart items, right? But I search for cart and I can see that, you know, there's a cart .json. No, that's not what you want. You want a dot liquid. And you know, it's not the footer. And kind of it's not like notifications, not a JS file either, right? So you can kind of guess that it's going to be this file, whatever it's called, it's going to be like main cart or something or just cart dot liquid. So go into that file. And then it's actually right here at the top, you can search for the words continue shopping, right to see it easily. And we can see that it's actually in two places in this file. And both of these places are these two templates that I showed you. So um, this looks like the button because it's got a class of button. That's the button that shows up when your cart is empty. And this because it's got a class of underlined link. Uh, this looks like this one. Okay, and we're going to change the link target, right? And that's this part, it says href, right? And after href and inside these quotation marks, that's always where you put the link that you want it to go to. Right now, it's this like built in Shopify URL, you can delete that completely. And next, what we're going to do is just add the path where you want to send people to uh, on your website. So you don't need to write the dot com like I don't need to write ed dot codes, which is my website URL. Um, it's everything that comes after the dot com. So you'd start with slash. And then it would be like, if it's a product, you'd be like products slash and then the product handle, right? Um, so for example, on this product, you could just on a product page, just copy and paste the URL from here. And don't worry about copying the variant. Okay, just, you know, the products and then the product handle. And then paste that in here. If you want to go to a collection, it'd be you know, the, the similar layout, it'd be like collections, slash, and then the collection handle. Um, if you just want to send people to the home page, slash is enough that will send people straight to the home page. And so we just want to change it here for the underlying link. And then we also want to change it here for the button when the cart is empty. Um, so not this because this is the text, but rather this the href. We're going to just put a slash here as well, because I want to redirect people to the home page. Save. And now let's try it out. Continue shopping. And there we go. I'm going back to the home page. And even if we do have a product in the cart, I'm just gonna add this product view my cart. Um, and this underline continue shopping, and we're going back to the home page. That's all there is to it. I'm going to be doing more of these response videos to comments because it's a good idea. I think I find it interesting. So if you want me to do a video on something, leave a comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell to make sure that you get notified when I release a video. And yeah, I hope that helps you. See you next time.